The next simple machine we will talk about is the incline. And an incline is just a ramp. It's easier to lift something up to a given height if you push it up a ramp rather than lift it straight up. I moved a piano once, and I wouldn't recommend doing this. I never plan on moving a piano again. Pianos are really heavy, and at least personally, I'm going to leave that to the professional movers from now on. But um, I was describing the situation of trying to load this piano onto a truck, and I was describing it as a small piano, and a friend of mine said, there are no small pianos. And he understood because he had tried to move a piano before too. Pianos have uh, metal strings inside them. As you know, those are the strings that the keys strike. And those strings, because there are so many of them, there's a tremendous amount of tension on those strings. And so there's this large steel frame inside the piano to support all of that force from all of those strings pulling under tension. And that large steel frame as well as the wooden frame outside that make the piano very, very heavy. So if you need to move a piano, say you're loading it onto a truck, you will want to use a ramp. Pianos are very heavy. You don't want to try to pick this piano straight up from the ground up to the height of the truck, even though it's not very far the piano is is so heavy that you would break your back trying to do that um, especially if it was just you and one other person if you use a ramp you can push the piano up the ramp and we'll assume that it's on wheels here so it slides easily or on a little dolly so it can roll easily if you push it up the ramp you can push with considerably less force now we will actually work out the math to determine how much force we need to use to push a piano up an incline. And the, the math is really very simple and the approach that we use will apply to any object on any incline. So it's a very general idea. A ramp or incline will always be helpful and always allow us to use less force. Suppose a piano weighs 600 pounds and you need to lift it three feet onto the bed of a delivery truck. But instead of lifting it straight up three feet, you roll it up a ramp that is 12 feet long. So you end up moving the piano four times as far because you have to push it all 12 feet instead of three. But you're not pushing it straight up. You're pushing it up the ramp at an angle. And because you have four times the distance, you only have to use one-fourth as much force. And that's the key fact there. Moving the piano four times as far you only have to use one-fourth as much force. So the problem is solved by just taking the weight of the piano, 600 pounds, and dividing it by four. And that comes out to 150 pounds. And that's our answer. So to lift the piano straight up would require 600 pounds of force. But to slide it up the ramp, in this particular case, only requires 150 pounds. So we see this trade-off between force and distance. And that's the case every single time. We can use these numbers for the force and distance to calculate a mechanical advantage. And we'll use the abbreviation MA for mechanical advantage. The mechanical advantage is the length of the ramp divided by the height that we're lifting the piano. So in this case, we pushed it up a ramp that had a length, had a length of 12 and it ended up going up a height of three. So we pushed it 12 feet, but it only actually went up three feet. So the length over the height ends up being 12 over three for a mechanical advantage of this particular ramp of four.